Hello, and welcome to my tutorial for AdventureCraft on the basic tools. So AdventureCraft, in case you don't know, it's a mod um, designed around uh, Dungeons and Minecraft uh, adventures, basically, where uh, the player is not able to place or destroy blocks. Um, they have a limited amount of health, but mobs um, drop health, and mobs and all that stuff are in scripted encounters and such. Uh, similar to like you'll see in Zelda and other adventure games. Now, first off, we're going to go with the basic tools as the tutorial says. Uh, so once you have it started up, we need to click on single player. We're going to create a new world. This world, it's going to be a flat world uh, because there's no maps. Uh, uh, textures have been set. Uh, set. So this, uh, when there's no uh, map, terrain map.png and biome map.png, it just creates a, a flat savanna like land. Uh, this will give us plenty of area to uh, be able to look around and go around. Now, first thing we're going to do is we're going to talk about debug mode. If you see these pigs, they're currently jumping around. The second I activate debug mode, they're stuck in place. Um, this ca also counts for blocks, so if I come over here to destroy this boss, I can't actually see the, uh, the thing that drops until I uh, toggle off debug mode. Now, if I go ahead, toggle back on debug mode. While in debug mode, I can use chat commands. A very useful one is the fly command. When I fly, I just go around, fly, hover. It works great. Another useful command, because you're going to be out for a long period of time probably, is the day command. And you can see the sun gets reset back into its dawn position. So the next thing you care about is, of course, the palette. This is your key to being able to have all your tools and access to them. So when you press F7, it brings up the palette. Press Escape, it goes away. Let's pop it back up. So there's multiple pages here of this palette. Uh, access of every block in this mod and all the items as well. So if I press F8, I advance through the pages. F7 goes back to the pages. We are going to want to grab the cursor. Uh, we're going to want to grab the hammer. Want to grab the eraser. We're going to want to grab the paintbrush, the paint bucket, the quill, and also we're going to grab cobblestone. So the first thing we're going to do is we're going to start play, we're going to create a cobblestone wall. And it's fairly simple. We're going to place here this will be one end of the wall. Another end of the wall. We're going to come over here. And how about right there? Alright. So I now take out my cursor. I can left click with it to set a position, or I can right click. So, I've got one position set on that block. Come over here. I now have all these orange blocks you see are the highlights of where I have all the blocks selected. So, any uh, of my tools that work on multiple blocks will then uh, work on this area. So, I pull out the hammer, and this lets me uh, copy any block I right click on into all these blocks. So, I copy the Cobblestone, I could then fill it up with cobblestone, I can fill it up with grass, I could even fill it up with uh, flowers, but you can see they want to fall down. Um, or we can come over here and we can fill it in with, uh, say, uh, this great wood. Another thing about the, great about the hammer, it's a perfect tool to destroy anything. So let's bring back, turn it back to cobblestone to demonstrate some other tools. Oh. First, we're going to use the eraser. The eraser, as expected, destroys everything that's in the selected area. But now, to bring it back to the cobblestone, so we can demonstrate all the uh, great other paintbrush tools. So first off, paintbrush changes individual blocks that you're just pointed at. So we go over here. Let's say that make it brown, green. So you can see individual brother. Uh, blocks will change color. Uh, the blocks that you can change their color currently are just cobblestone, solid stone, and also uh, cobblestone stairs. 
Now the paintbrush changes all the blocks in the currently selected area. So that's very useful when you got a lot of blocks to change, like a full wall like we have right here. Now another useful tool that you're going to want to use a lot is when you're trying to get a navigate around a lot real quick, is to use the quill. What this does is the quill teleports you to wherever the top block of wherever you selected. So if I select on dang, there on the tree, it would get right there on top of the, those tree blocks. So select on the bottom of the uh, wall, puts me on the top. All right. So that's it for this tutorial. I covered the basics: the cursor, the hammer, the eraser, paintbrush, paint bucket, quill, and of course the palette. And remember always debug mode with F4 and letting you be able to use the chat commands. All right. And thank you for listening. And I hope you enjoy making. Uh, Dungeons with this uh, tool. Thank you.